Idaho Fish and Wildlife had contacted us saying that they had a cub who was found alone and unable to take care of himself. And here at Zoo New England, we were happy to provide him with a home. Hand rearing a puma cub can be very challenging. You want to make sure that they grow at a nice steady growth rate. It's also really important to keep them socialized. And that's, you know, since we didn't have another puma cub for him to interact with, it meant that he had to interact with the staff. So in early December, Blue was transferred here to Stone Zoo once he was weaned off his bottles at the zoo hospital and he went into the Windows to the Wild exhibit. Guests were able to see him there as he was just a very small kitten. And growing up, uh, it took a long time for him to even learn how to climb up on the benches that were in there. In mid-March, Blue was permanently transferred from his nursery in Windows to the Wild to his permanent exhibit here in Treasures of Sierra Madre. He plays with everything. Every leaf that blows into the exhibit, he's out there playing with it. Um, all the enrichment that we give him. Many of the guests that come here to Stone Zoo have found it really rewarding to come back and see Blue grow from this small kitten into the adolescent he is now. It's been the most rewarding just seeing him grow from a kitten who needed a lot of attention from us to now being a little bit more independent uh, and acting more like uh, a cat would in the wild.